Hello everybody and welcome to a double update today. So <clears throat> first of all we played <clears throat> sorry one match yesterday uh, on Wednesday and now we have uh, the score of course which is ready here. Uh, as predicted we won the match and we won in a quite good way actually 90 of course uh as you can see our our subs uh were made uh, quite early into the match uh, as you can see one goal at the second minute 20 uh, one goal at the 26th and now and then um we had our subs uh made straight away so um well there is there isn't much to say about this match let's just have a look at the because as you can see i'm sorry the level is uh, was quite low uh, on the opponent's side so it's fine um fit uh sorry 53 percent ball possession Versus 47, uh, many shots on our side, many shots on target and our, on our side. More than 50% uh, accuracy ratio, in my, as you can see here. Nine, uh, uh, nine goals called out of 15 shots on target, so very good. Um, but yeah, it was predicted actually, it was predictable. Um, so, uh, but you can see here that our lineup, of course, uh, was way different than usual. So, what we'll be doing today, uh, since we have a cup match ahead, is changing our lineup. Let's just have a a quick look at the at the league. Here we are, and we have four points. We are po four points ahead of uh, Sidana Calcio and uh, Real Scuderiana, who are, of course, the teams uh, who will be trying to uh, to get to the first place and to and to kick us off it. Mm -mm -mm. Thirty-three points here. They're not very dangerous at the moment. They still have a good team, but they're quite dangerous. Um, next round will be against Bombay Sapphire. So this is something we have to uh, take into account because we'll be playing against them right after the cup match. So let's be careful about uh, disqualific possible disqualifications while uh, making the light well yeah making the lineup doing or oh, yep so these are our opponents uh from the fb as you can see here there we go they just won a match 7-1 they've got quite a good team let's have a look at their routine it's not very high so far so we should be able to handle them they've got some expert players especially on the wings as you can see here no this one is low but this one yeah was more than decent this one's slow this one more than decent and then the two strikers are not immensely experienced either then 7.9 this uh the central defense is not very high with experience but the left back and the right back are quite good with routine so what we can do now is trying to make a lineup which will exploit the weakness in this sector as the goalkeeper yeah good for us so 
Well, we should be able to exploit this area with two strikers, hopefully. One offensive midfielder. Uh, or one striker. And using our regular lineup that we uh, usually go for for mm, very important matches. Uh, so the they're quite strong here this guy here is not very talented so I wouldn't care too much about him mm, let me have a look so there I think we should if we had a very good midfield or at least a full star defensive midfielder we could go for in my opinion um, four defenders, one defensive midfielder, one winger. Let's have a look at it here. So, four defensive midfielder, one defensive, uh, sorry, four, uh, defenders, uh, one defensive midfielder, one winger here, possibly an offensive one, which we do have. Um, of course one right winger one offensive midfielder and two strikers that would be perfect if we had a four stars defensive midfielder which we don't have uh, so I am afraid we'll have to go for the additional midfielder this time around as well um, so let's start let's get it started like so like this uh, Mazzotta over here Fabris over here uh, I think we should go for uh, mm, for defense like this who was weaker with headers this one so let's go like so and this would actually be a good lineup in theory, but they still have a good amount of routine on their side. So I think I'll go for for a stronger lineup. My main concern is this and this, because if they go disqualified, we will not be able to you uh, to. Uh, line them up for uh, for the match versus Bombay Sapphire so let's try and see if we have any alternative let's go for instance for what we could consider as the best of the possible lineups and then we'll modify it according to our needs so um, Storari has to be swapped with um, either Egger or the other one. Where is he? I've lost him. Arturioni. Like so. Um, Winger. Weedy. He's here. So this is our best possible lineup in terms of quality and routine of course <clears throat> and uh yeah um but i think we could go for something a little bit more offensive like torrioni here let's have a look at the left side they've got a good player here who's quite experienced as well and a well experienced um left back so i'm afraid we don't have many choices we might for instance try and swap this guy here for a striker but in my opinion that would be a little bit too dangerous 
unless we went for a defensive uh, for this uh, for defensive tactic but I don't like defend uh, defensive uh, attitudes because in this game as I might probably have said in the past yes yes I did say that in the past probably uh, a couple matches ago a couple lineups ago actually uh, if you go defensive, you've got a, a defense bonus, defending bonus, but you have um, your your offensive power lowered, and way more than your defensive uh, defensive bonus would give you. So, 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 in this case, I'm sorry for being so silent today, but this is quite uh, an important uh, situation because we don't want to lose against Bombay Sapphire, and they've got a more than decent uh, team, as you can see, starting from basically here, or even here or here, you've got very good, uh, very good teams in the league, so. Uh, they're all very dangerous and we cannot afford to lose any more matches uh, not now anyway <clears throat> so at the same time we do want to win the cup match because we this will give us this will provide us with more money at the end of the season then I'll show you how much um, I think I think we should go for this lineup and hopefully this one guy here and this one guy here will not be disqualified. We might think for instance about making some changes um uh, and swapping a few players like swapping Cancelli with Riva and Viniero with Mazzotta. Let's have a look if we have any and the replacements for them. Any other replacements? No, we don't. I'm afraid. I am afraid we truly don't. Um, and probably Tatio as well. Uh, that. Yes. So we'll swap Tatio, Cancelli, and Veniero when we are towards the 60th minute or probably when we are in advantage when, when we're on the lead if we'll ever get there let's have a look at the quality overall quality of the team uh, it's not very high it is still high as you can see four stars here this one's a good player this one is not very good goalkeeper in my opinion what we can do is focus site central which is good and we could keep this swap so if we're in advantage by two goals then we could swap uh, Briku and Riva um no i would take this away so we'll swap goal scored when we are two goals in advantage or probably one probably one would swap Tateo and torrioni Tatio and Torrioni. No, because they've got uh, good wingers on that side. So let's go for this. Let's be careful. It's probably not going to happen, but still have to to make sure we win. So uh, Tatio, where's he? I'm blind today. Tatio and Torrioni as a midfielder right 
this way, and the other one is veneero with mazzotta, but provided that mazzotta is very good, we can go for this. There we go, and in my opinion, we're good to go. We are good to go. Yes. So, Riva, yes. <clears throat> As you can see, Central is supposed to be um, a good choice because the the opponents were weaker at the center of their defense and they don't have anybody here as a defensive midfielder so hopefully Bricou will be able to act here with a decent amount of uh, of balls played and the same uh, should be said about Yossa who's the striker so they should be able to um, to exploit that sort of uh, technical superiority hopefully so I think this was it uh, I know this was a longer video than usual but of course there were two updates to be made and as you could see it's not a very very easy situation um, we um, we have to handle two competitions at the same time uh, and in a very careful way if we had if we had had for instance uh, the, the match versus Trento tomorrow then uh, would be able to would have been able to uh, to deploy a very strong lineup today and tomorrow we'd be playing with uh, with this kind of lineup or even worse probably but um, but now we just cannot afford to to do so we have to be able uh, um, to make sure we can handle the um, the two competitions at a very high level at the same time so uh thanks a lot for watching hopefully this was um uh, this lineup will will lead to um, to a victory, and uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned because these two, uh, the following two days will be very interesting uh, at a um, at a score level. So thanks a lot again for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.